Hi guys, um, Lee and Lavender here. So I'm going to do a quick studio tour. Um, just going to forewarn you, I work out of my unfinished basement. Um, and so it might look a little rough on the edges, but I, I love it. I have access to all of my supplies. I don't have to keep half of them packed away and decide throughout the year what do I want to play with. I have got everything pulled out and ready. Um, so without further ado, and I always promised myself when I would do a video I wouldn't say without further ado, but I don't know what else we could say to lead into the main part of the video. So, anyway, let's get going. So, this was my first sign that I did, and I originally started off um, restoring furniture and such, but as I got older, um, I've had some health issues that prohibit or make it difficult for me to do furniture as much as I want to. So um, you come down the stairs into my basement and um, I um, have had two boutiques so I have lots of models and excess merchandise from my boutiques. Um, so I'm going to go over, I'm going to start in my main area. So this is my computer section. Um, this is where I do my, all of my day-to-day -day operations with my computer. So as you can see, I have several printers. Um, this printer is what I call the regular printer and it has an eco tank. If you guys have never used an eco tank, I I suggest it. So it's got like you can see all the ink in there. Um the ink lasts you almost a year and I do a lot of printing um, and so it will last you a long time and they don't cost that much more than regular printers and so over here I have my cameo set up I have dual cameos so when I'm doing my Amazon orders for my stickers I can have two of them going. This is my color laser. We call her Big Bertha. And also I have a white toner cartridge. Um, that is to allow me to do some um, laser transfer, laser color laser transfers for apparel. So this guy here is my little laser. It's just a black and white laser. Um, I usually just use this guy for um, my labels. Um, so I graduated to the color one and so the little one just kind of got thrown by the wayside. This guy here is my sublimation printer. It is an Epson 7720 and it's not going to go into focus. Let's see if we can get it into focus. There it goes. So it is an Epson 7720. Um, I do just have, let me see if I can get to, okay, so there's my ink. So we used to have the, um, the outside ink. I can't remember what it's called, but it just kind of constantly fills the um, ink cartridges, and we had a lot of problems with that. So now we just have these 
refillable um, ink cartridges and we just um, add more sublimation ink as needed. Um, I use the A4 um, sublimation sheets and um, it will also um, do the bigger sheet so I can go up to a 13 by 19 size on that under my tables and all I have is folding tables in here um, under my tables is just my extra storage so this is my shipping station that is an old bookshelf or old um, headboard bookshelf um, so what I was saying this is a it used to be a desktop and so I got it and I put it up here and it is perfect like mail sorter so I got my boxes I have all of my labels my bags um, and everything for um, shipping my orders um, and there's of course a cutter and then we move over to my sewing and embroidery section I haven't done embroidery in probably a year I do love it I have a wonderful machine I have a Janome um, and it does the the pretty big screens um, I just I got busy with everything else and so then I have a little regular um, sewing machine little air humidifier because since I'm down in the basement um, it gets very humid down here so then we have our thread okay and then over in this section is my polymer clay and my resin section and so there's my UV light, my toaster for my polymer clay. There is a lot of my tools. I've got them into those little pencil cases that you can get at Walmart right around school time. Um, it's a lot of my tools there. These are my silicones. And then over here I have the cutters and in these drawers I have all of my polymer clay and the binders and then I have my mica powders my essential oils I'm experimenting with putting essential oils in my polymer clay designs to give it a scented design there's all my glitter um, trying to um, mixing cups and sticks and then up here on the top I have my big cutters my extra molds miscellaneous silicone molds I have a cup turner and I have a mold maker and I have an extra UV resin um, inside of here is just face mask gloves just extra miscellaneous things so then we come over here is a great deal of my material so I have material on this rack and also I have material inside of the bin under my sewing machine and so like hello I'm Leanne and I have a material hoarding problem down here is my ribbon um, and trash can and this is where my husband decided to stick our networks -ish. so these are all my blank badges for um, my Amazon orders so. and then next to this is beading and um, so these are all of my beading supplies there's my beads and my 
Dremel. And sandpaper is my bead mats. Um, these are all of my polymer clay beads that I have made. And those are just beads in there. And then there's miscellaneous stuff up there. A little sign that I used to have in my boutique. It is an unfinished basement, so it has a fireplace that is not working. So my husband has hooked me up an AC unit with a fan. Um, then, I'm sorry, I'm going to make you guys dizzy for a second. Then I have this work table in the center of like these stations. It has a, a mat on it so I can cut. Um, I have my Cricut press over there. Um, under it is my big bin of yarn. So I can knit. Alright, then I have wire racks in the center. And these are kind of hard to see. But um, this container here is just a, seriously, it's a miscellaneous container. These are risers because I thought that my table in the middle, I wanted it higher, but it was too high. Um, these are miscellaneous sublimation blanks. Those are going to be cocoa car coasters. Um, we got some mugs. We have some composition books that I want to paint and doodle on got wine glasses we have um, what is this guy it is and you run the plates through it and your paper it presses the it um, cuts it out or I cannot think of what it is at the moment so then I have um, pillow fluff pillow filler. I have a box of crayons. So this box of crayons is the exclusive edition. It's the first box that has the new color in it. So I bought a box of that. I don't know if it will ever be a collector's item. Who knows? Um, I have my heat gun, more blank wine glasses, on this rack is we've got paints, Mod Podge, more paints, my scale, um, sand, colored sand, I don't know. That is a bacon tray. I use it for my magnets. Then I have watercolors, oils, my markers, my pastels, my good drafting pencils there. And then we have canvases, canvases, and a spare toner up there. And then in that bin is, I think, for when I go to trade shows. Okay, so. I just rolled this guy over here um, so it doesn't have a lot on it I bought this to put my excess clothes on um, there is a new cutout that I want to work on so it doesn't have a lot on it so on this side we have paints and markers um, and the vinyl my vinyl. I have HTV and I have sticky vinyl and I have a dog following me. Look, that's Mishu and that's Bucky. This is where they lay. Um, mannequins. I have miscellaneous little projects over there. Um, this is a mural that I'm working on my back wall and uh, there's a mannequin and then here is my filming station 
I am working on my 30 day challenge and so some projects that I'm working on I have my essential oils burner I have my daylight lamp and I have my laptop and my lights and down here I have all my brushes because you know I don't have enough room and then for my unorganized section I'm kind of embarrassed but I'm going to show this guys too so this is some of my items that I have on Amazon um, the retail arbitrage so those are there uh, more mannequins and then I have some blank t-shirts and that's a tub of pictures those boxes are all blank t-shirts here's my two heat presses more blank t-shirts more blank t-shirts more stuff from my boutique boutique items and then we have a little fridge a big humidifier a big freezer and this is my husband's area and then I have a wash sink over there alright guys well oh, there's Bucky he's gonna scratch so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit a little glimpse into my world um, so we will get to some painting videos thank you